Hello Retro Gamers, today we've got something a little bit different than usual instead of the reviews and whatnot. I'm actually in an awesome store called Player One with the owner, Michael. Hi. Hey, Michael. How are you? Nice to meet you. Good, good. good. Um, why don't you tell us a bit about Player One and what sort of business you offer here? Um, well, essentially it's a, it's a music school. Yep. Uh, but I loaded it with retro games and arcade machines and all sorts of stuff. So Okay. Is it something to do during the day? <laughs> yeah. We all need some, we all need hobbies, I guess, but I guess yeah. if you get paid to do them, that's even better. Yeah. Uh, what led you to opening such a store? Um, oh, I've been a musician forever. Um, yeah. I've worked in music schools. I just kind of wanted to start my own one, and I needed to get all my games out of my house because it was taking up too much time. <laughs> yeah, I can relate to that. Yeah. Um, so I like how you have all the consoles set up to play over there, like the Mega Drive and the Atari and whatnot. Yeah. Is that just to get kids who are waiting just to get into retro games? There's, there's a mini young. Yeah, it's a bit of that and a bit of <laughs> I've run out of space in the counters. And I can uh, buy more counters, but I just get the cheap shelves. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. works. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So tell me a bit about your musical background. Um, I've been a musician in Perth for. Uh, Ever? <laughs> no, I've sort of started. I started learning piano and guitar and bagpipes and you know, kind of everything. Uh, played in bands, you know, like session musician. Um, I was in Eskimo Joe for a oh, while. Really? And, oh, wow. Yeah, the Kill Devil Hills. I remember, remember the Kill Devil Hills. I might be too young. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, bands like that. Um, lived in Canada for a while doing it. Oh, sweet, I love Canada. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Now I do mostly theatre music. So it, yeah. You say you're with, uh, in a drama production at the moment? Yes, yeah, with um, I've been a few. Um, the what current one is with Greg Fleet at the the Blue Room. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah this is not right a, line. Yeah, this yeah. is not a love song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I really like your prices here. I found them very reasonable. I bought a couple of games the other day. I'm just wondering, uh, do you set your prices from somewhere, or do you just sort of make them up and what do you think is reasonable? Well, mostly I kind of just add like a couple of dollars here and there mm -hmm. on what I get it for. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I mean, yeah, some things are ridiculous. You look on eBay, yeah. it's like, like $200 that it, you know, that I've gotten for 70, so I'll sell yeah. it for 75. Are you doing a good service? Yeah. You're doing yeah. That. <laughs> um, so standard question I know, but what's probably your favorite console ever, including handhelds? Sega Saturn, yes. for sure, yeah. Yeah, it's the only one that I kind of want to keep every single game for. Like the others, I'm, I'm happy to kind of let them go. It's hard. You know, yeah, someone comes in and they want Golden Axe Warrior on the Master System. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, all right, you can have it. <laughs> but the Saturn, I just, yeah, yeah, I hold on to that. Yeah, they're hard to find games around Perth, I've noticed. Yeah, yeah. Well, because everyone who has them holds on to them. Yeah. 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 I don't blame them. Um, this is also sort of another standard question, but what do you reckon is your favourite game ever, Saturn or otherwise? Oh, probably favourite as in, like, I would play it no matter what. It's probably Toe Jam and Earl on the Mega Drive. Oh yeah. It's yeah. just, yeah, yeah. I just could play it forever. <laughs> yeah. The sort of game you'd take with you to a desert island or something cliched like that. Yeah, <laughs> although it was really hard, you know, when it was first out, well, yeah. I thought, but now it's, you it's, it's just mastered it's really it's, not, yeah. yeah. But it's still good. Any obscure gems you'd recommend? Yeah. Um, Depending, like on certain systems, I don't, I don't know if it was obscure, but a Cyborg Justice on the Mega Drive was really good. It was like a double dragon, but you chose your cyborg's legs and torso and arm, and you could cut off others and pull their arms off and swap them with yours. Oh, sweet! That was pretty cool. And actually, like um, the Wii, Nintendo Wii's got some crazy games, like um, yeah. a Shadow's Tale. You're just like a oh. platformer, but you are looking at the shadow, and the, the actual person doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And cool. it's really weird because the option, you know, you, you're used to looking in the foreground, but you're not. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, it's really odd. No, yeah. check that one out. I'm, yeah. I've got a week. I've yeah. got to find more things. Because, I mean, there's heaps and heaps of shovelware. That's the problem. Yeah, that's, yeah. But there's a lot of just really good stuff. Yeah. 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 Um, so it's probably hard to decide since you haven't really, you've only been open just over a month now, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. What would you say would be the coolest thing that's come through here yet or the coolest thing you currently have here? Well, oh, I don't know. I, I know that, uh, I mean, I've had three virtual boys come through and they just come in and go, you know. That is cool, but they're really 
really not great. Uh, it's, <laughs> they're a great novelty. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they would hurt you. Yeah, I can see <laughs> why they didn't work. I mean, they can turn you blind, but they're a lot Yeah, <laughs> I think the 3DO was one of those consoles that's sort of coming up. Still got one here, but they kind of yeah. they come in and you're like, well, you never bought one back in the day. I, I don't think they were released in Australia. Were they? I have no idea. I just remember them being ridiculously expensive. Yeah, and nine hundred dollars or something. Yeah, like that. early nineties prices. Yeah, it was crazy. But then you know the games on them. There's some really good games on that. So yeah, I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff that comes and goes. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Um, so yeah, definitely the store seems off to an excellent start. I'm very happy with how the place is going. Um, yeah. What does the future hold for Player One? Um, Going to start doing the, like nights, game nights, um, working on double dra uh, not double, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Um, it's really not. <laughs> uh, Dungeons and Dragons nights, board game nights as well. Oh, sweet. It needs to happen. Yeah, I mean, I know nothing about those games. It's not enough of that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know a lot of people that do. So yeah, exactly. We've got to say when I started my channel, I noticed there was like a lot of people coming out of the woodwork from Perth. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's a solid community. A lot of people here that just know where to go. Yeah. Hopefully more and more places open up. Yeah, it'd be good. Yeah. I mean, your competition never hurts, I guess. No, it's, <laughs> it's good. It's, you know, it makes it more of a, like a, a community. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So uh, whereabouts can Player One be found? Uh, on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Um, player1.com.au. That's the number one. Not the O-N-E. Yeah, more we'll throw it up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> And uh, you <laughs> got a Facebook page it too? Is, yeah, yeah, Facebook page will be from the website, but it's, I think it's uh, Player One Australia. Yeah, there yeah. was already a, there was like a band called Player One or something. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, or some guy with a picture of his dog as his face. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. sounds alternative. Yeah, that's, that's how you come up with the name. You know, like I had so many other names that would have been cool, but they were all yeah. registered. No. Couldn't, could Player yeah. One's very memorable, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we'll put all those links and whatnot in the description. But anyway, thank you for uh, thank you for watching. Thank, thank you, you for Thanks letting me in your building. And that's all right. I'll kick me out as soon as I walk in. No, no, that's all good. <laughs> it's raining. It is raining. Yeah. Yes. So he's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, thank you again for watching. I'll catch you next time. Ah, see ya. <laughs>